Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to record in ShareFactory on your PlayStation 5 for more like an advanced uh, video editing technique. And this could actually be quite useful. So here is an example I have for like a scoreboard. What if we want to like uh, pan and zoom um, a scoreboard or something and show um, our, uh, our score on there? And we don't have like a video clip of it or something like that. Well, we can literally just record what we're doing. So I'm going to go to my scoreboard and add it in as a new clip. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So let's scroll on down. Let's go to my scoreboard right here. Add it in. And then I want to pan to my name and then over to, I don't know, my score or something. So I'm going to hold down the share factory button right now or the, uh, the share button. And then I'm going to go to start new recording and start recording my screen. So we can do that. So I'm recording right now at the top. Then I'm going to press square on my timeline. And then I'm going to go to pan and zoom. And then I'm going to zoom in right here. Just like this. And then I'm going to zoom in over here. Look at that damage. There's a lot of damage. All right. So I kind of like that right there. Then I'm going to end the recording. So this is just uh, something that you could do or something like this. Proof of concept. Then go to where you want to add it in the timeline, press X, and then go to add clip. And here's the video recording of me playing Share Factory. So here it is. It looks like we have an error in Share Factory. So I don't know, that's the first time that happened to me. So we can relaunch it now. Now make sure you're saving this every so often, just like any kind of video editor. And then we should be able to just open this up. And here's my last project. Now that should be saved, uh, the video clip that we just did. So I'm going to re-add this. So here it is. It's a proof of concept right here. Now what I want to do is press square on it and then go to pan and zoom. And what we can do is get rid of all the black borders on here. And you'll see that will just be what I want to record. So it looks like it starts right there. So I'm going to uh, press square. And then split clip on the top here, right here, and then split on the bottom end too. So this is actually looking pretty good, what I want to record. So now what we could do is just press R2. And then you can see I'm not doing anything. This is just my video clip. And then it pans and zooms by itself. Otherwise, what we could do instead of having like the entire timeline on here, we could literally just pop out like this, L2, and you can record full screen just like that. So uh, you can come up with some situations where, I don't know, maybe where, uh, can you move through the timeline with this, where you want to slow it down real slow on one specific part and maybe like rewind it <laughs> and then go forward without having to add like the rewind option in here. So just think of some things that you could do while recording a video in Share Factory. While you're actively editing it, you could be recording it and adding what you do to your timeline. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more technical videos coming up next on your six studios.